My name is Marcus. I see some familiar faces. Um, I'm from PwC. I'm an associate director, and I run our tax reporting and strategy practice. For those that did attend last year's conference, don't be alarmed. You don't have to listen to me the whole day like you had to do last year. Um, we have an incredible lineup of speakers, especially the first two ladies. I'm going to start the session by introducing Ansi in a minute, but before I do that, um, there was a, a Congress last week. It was part of the African Tax Administration Forum, and they have a breakaway research network that they started called the Africa Tax Research Network. It was attended by various academics, tax practitioners, multinational enterprises, and various African tax administrations. And one of the commissioners um, from one of the African countries made a very interesting comment. And he said, when you're a non-exec or sitting in the boardroom of a multinational enterprise, and you think about what is happening in Africa and the issues we're dealing with from a social perspective, one of the things they have in that particular country is a big problem with malaria. And all it takes is just slightly over $2 to vaccinate a person against malaria. And then he continued by saying, for every $5 of taxes not paid, you're killing two people. So if we take this very dreary angle and think about responsibilities of boards and audit committees, and you think about your approach to tax and how it's being managed in the organization, and how you make sure that you have governance in place and you're paying the, the right amount of tax, think of all the people you're saving. So on that interesting note, our first speaker for the morning doing the opening address is Ansi Romalo. She is from the Institute of Directors South Africa. Um, previously, she was the chief executive, and she is now the custodian of the King 4 report. One of the things they also asked me to do as chair of my chair responsibilities is not to stand here and read the, the bios like obituaries. So I'm going to limit it to a two-sentence introduction, and I'm going to hand the mic over to Ansi. Thank you, Marcus. Dan Avery Haley, the well-known author, said, it is helpful to view human motivation from two perspectives. The one is a desire to appear to ourselves as good and honest people. The other is to gain advantage from cheating, on taxes, for instance. Now, there, is few, there are few things that, that really brings out the the perverse nature of human beings to the fore, as taxes do. And cheating is a very elusive and tenuous concept um, when we talk of it in relation to taxes. And even if the fact of the cheating stands beyond doubt, um, we always view it, we, we often view it as, as a lesser sin something that is not as bad as other bad things could be. 